Hey Vikes, happy Wednesday. I hope you're having a great HOKO week. I'm Haley. I'm Grace, and here are your daily announcements. The Viking Brew is looking for new workers to work in the coffee shop. Workers receive volunteer hours, free coffee, and apparel. If interested, email Ms. Avril. Logan Elementary Spark Club is looking for volunteers to assist with students in Spark Club on Wednesday afternoons from 4 to 5 in the Logan Library. International Thespian Society Troop 2001 is hosting a canned food drive sponsored by Trick or Treat so kids can eat. During seminar, donations will be accepted October 1st to October 31st. Fine Arts Booster Council invites all students to enter its contest to design a flag represent FABC. There is a $100 prize for the student whose drawing is chosen. Lots of t-shirts are for sale right now. Senior women t-shirts are on sale. Take your receipts from the bank to Reagan Bond on the 19th. Spirit Club t-shirts need to be ordered by the 10th and turn your form and receipt to Miss Guys. Leadership students are selling its Be Nice Time t-shirts. Pay the bank and bring your receipt to Amanda Small or Alex Koopa. The Topeka Zoo Youth Council is looking for students who want to help plan events at the zoo and raise money. Contact Tyler <coughs> Norsworthy for more information. If you like to draw, join Seaman Art Club. They will be meeting this Thursday from 6 to 7.30 p.m. in room 901. Students who want to learn test-taking strategies to help improve their ACT test score should plan to attend the Power Prep Workshop on Thursday, October 25th from 7.30 a.m. to 11.30, 5 a.m. in the auditorium. October 18th is the deadline. The cost is $45, and remember to fill out the form and return it to Ms. Olson. K-State Engineering Scholars Day is Monday, October 22nd. You must be a senior, have a 28 or above on the ACT, and a 3.6 GPA. The National Merit Scholarship Program is an academic competition for recognition and college scholarships high school students enter the National Merit Scholarship Program by taking the pre preliminary SAT National Merit Scholarship. Qualifying test and ask Ms. Aliker if you're interested. Let's go find out how we can get those athletic passes. A contest for students to design the 2018-2019 athletic passes was held in Ms. Nyman's class last year. Students and teachers voted on the best entries. In my digital photo media class, I designed the adult athletic pass, and on there, there was like this cute little sunset, and it just like showed how many games you can get into and a spot for your name, etc. Tristan Fangman, who was in a different design class, she made the student athletic pass, and on there there was this cute little shoe with a bunch of sport equipment on it. The passes can be purchased in the main office. Student passes are $30 and adult passes are $50. They can only be used for home games. They are cheaper and also come with a few more perks. And it's really a bargain because after you've gone to 10 events during the year, then you're getting in free the rest of the time. And the other nice thing that people like about them is you don't have to wait in line for a football game to pay. You can go right over to the pass gate and show your pass and get in. If you want to purchase any of the passes, go to the athletics office, which is in the main office section, and get yourself a pass. Wow, I might have to get one of those. Now over to sports after this quick commercial break. It is Homecoming Spirit Week. Thursday is Kindergarten Picture Day. And Friday is Hawaiian Day. Hey guys, it's me, a Viking. Spirit Club is selling blue and red Viking Pride shirts for $13. You can get an order form from Mrs. Geis in room N14 or in the office. All forms are due October 10th to the bank. There will be no late orders. Remember Vikes, we don't stop when we are tired, we stop when we win.
boys cheer, girls play football, and are part of a game on October 13th. Students interested in participating can sign up with Ms. Olson in the administrative office area. Cancer Awareness Night for the boys soccer team is on Thursday, October 11th against Washburn Rule. If you're one of the first 50 SHS students, you will get a free shirt. Funds raised will go to SHS families battling cancer. Spirit Club is looking for volunteers for next week, and donuts have been promised. Check the Schoology page for more information. Now over to Ryan to see what Friday night's game is going to look like, and to see if he can live up to weatherman Josh Duncan's standards. Well, Haley, I don't quite know if I can live up to the standards of weatherman Josh, but let's jump right into it. It's, today is a very warm and windy Wednesday with summer-like temperatures. It's 88 degrees and the high is 90. You got roller coaster temperatures up in the 90s, down into the 60s, then back to 83. And now, your Friday night lights on Friday's game. We're looking at one to two inches of rain, not what Mr. Monahan promised, but what Josh Duncan promised, and he will give you more details tomorrow. Now, back to your anchors. That's all for your news today. Don't forget to dress up as your kindergarten picture tomorrow. We're going to leave you with the segment, Common Knowledge. Have a great rest of your day, Vikes. Hey, everybody. We're here with our first segment of Common Knowledge. Okay, who is the Vice President of the United States? Holy crap, I don't want to do this. Mike Pence. <laughs> yep. All right. <laughs> Mike Pence. Um, Mike Pence. I have no clue. <laughs> oh, shoot. Pence! I... I don't even... I, hold on a second. I... Mike... So Mr. Mike. Mike Pence. Pet Mike Pence. There you go. When was the Constitution signed? What year? Mrs. Yoder's <laughs> class. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Yoder. Uh, 1642. <laughs> 1739. 1461. Give me your first two numbers. 17, 64. 1767. Ah! July 4th, 17... 56? 56? 1766? 1766? 1776? I don't know. I have no I idea. That's it, but it might be. I feel like there's a four in there somewhere. 1746? <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> I teach band. I don't know. 1976. Uh, 1776, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think so, too. 1776? Yeah, 94? 82? 1724. 25, 26, 27, 28, 17, 60. I don't, I don't know. 80, 82. 3, 4, 5, 6. 86. 87. 87. It was 87. 87. There you 87. go. There you All go. right. Uh, who's the current Kansas governor? <laughs> <laughs> I also have no clue. Um, oh, God. What's his name? I'm thinking. Um... What is his name? I don't know. Sam Allie, how do you know that? Jeff Collier. Um, Co, not Kobach. You're getting closer. Co uh, he was running for, oh, this is, see, um, I don't, can I come back to that? <laughs> um, Kobach. Okay, do you know the governor? Governor Coakley. Copley. Kobach. Which president was shot in Dallas, Texas in 1963? JFK. Um, JFK. <laughs> <laughs> That's I don't so know. Funny. I have no clue. John F. Kennedy, right? Yes. Why am I here? JFK. Oh my God. John F. Kennedy. There you go. All right, everybody. That's all we have for today. See you later.